It's Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Before we do anything else, let's check with Miss Betsy to see what's on the lunch menu today. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're having chicken pot pie. Come on down and see us. And then tomorrow, a meatball sub. I know you like them both. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember to clear out your lunch charges by adding money to your account and bring in your purple free and reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy so that she can process them. Glad your book prices will go up in December, so get yours now while they're still only $55. Juniors and seniors, those college application deadlines are getting closer, and we have several colleges coming to visit us. Here's the lineup. The New York Film Academy is here today, and Luther College will be here tomorrow. Seniors, want to save $25? On Tuesday, November 7th, CSU Pueblo will be hosting an application day at WHS, where they will waive your app fee and help you process your application. You need to sign up by this Friday to get your pass. Then bring your admissions application and a copy of your transcript on Tuesday to get your app going. The Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy will be here next week on Wednesday, November 8th, and they're setting up a braid bar. Get your hair done and school info in one swift visit. And right now, Adams State will close out November visits on Thursday, November 16th. Seniors, the Herf Jones Rep will be here on Thursday, November 9th to take your class rings and cap and gown order. Turn in your orders. Then the deadlines for all other orders are December 21st. And as always, swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your pass for those college visits. When we come back, we'll have some yummy fundraiser news for you. But first, here's Jared Grace with your Gladiator Sports Update. It's Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Jared Grace with your Gladiator Sports Update. We got forensics results last Sunday night for the tournament at St. Mary's this weekend. Congratulations to Lauren Johnson, who placed 6th in poetry, Casey Ringer, who placed 5th in extempt, Jasmine Flores, and Sydney Monson, who took 2nd in duo. Two first place finishes went to Tegan Keeler in humor and Hunter Hazlett in original oratory. The forensics team heads up to Woodland Park on Saturday, November 4th for their next tournament. Our Gladiator football team could still clinch the league championship this Friday when they take on Pueblo West at home at 7 p.m. Come out and support the Glads. Our Lady Glads volleyball team heads into the first round of regional play this Saturday at Palmer Ridge. The ladies play Palmer Ridge at 9.30, then Erie at 11 a.m. And congratulations to Taylor Blackwell, the Extra Sports Athlete of the Week. Be sure to go to Extra Sport website and vote for Taylor tonight. Voting closes on Thursday night. Ladies basketball camp continues tonight and tomorrow. Please see Mr. Washington in room 115 for more information. Gentlemen, interested in playing basketball? Coach Munoz has an informational meeting today at lunch and after school in room 207. If you plan to try out for the team this year, you should attend one of these meetings. Went to sports athletes. Yellow cards in physical forms are still available in the main office. If you already have a physical on file, just pick up your yellow card. Winter sports practices start on November 10th. And finally, athletes Mr. Hall and Mr. Thiel are presenting guidelines for NCAA eligibility on Tuesday, November 7th at 6 p.m. in the WHS library. They will cover numerous topics having to do with NCAA eligibility. If you want to play sports at a division one or division two school you should come check out this important presentation stay tuned on friday for doc's health tip of the week good luck to all our sports teams this coming weekend that's it for our sports update have a great day i'm jared grace now back to you hannah and ethan thanks jared hey glads we have several fundraisers going on in the building this month starting with the fccla if you want the best Charlie Gladiator necklace ever, FCCLA is selling customizable magnet jewelry such as necklaces, keychains, bracelets, rings, and charms. Visit this website to order yours today. Student Senate is hosting a fundraiser at B-Dubs on Geyser Drive, and 10% of your total bill will be donated to the Student Senate, so get your wings tonight. NJROCC is also hosting a food fundraiser at Chick-fil-A on Mesa Ridge Parkway on Monday, November 6th from 5 to 8 p.m. 
Come out and support NJROTC with some chicken sandwiches. Remember, the student store is now open, so you can stock up on new Gladiator gear. The store is open in the cafeteria before school on Mondays and Fridays and after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Check out the inventory in the attendance or business offices. And now, here are your club and activity updates for today and Thursday. Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure you have a sticker on your ID. The 180 Club meets in room 5 every Wednesday at lunch with Mr. Sickmiller. DECA and FBLA meet on Wednesdays at lunch in the Lab 159. For those of you who enjoy tabletop games, that club meets on Wednesdays in room 160 from 3 to 5. Freshman, Junior, and Senior Councils meet at lunch. Freshman Council meets in room 2. Junior Council meets in room 166, while the Senior Council currently meets in room 101. Link Crew meets on Thursdays during advisory in rooms 1. 123, 124, or 201. Book Club also meets every other Thursday at lunch in the library in the magazine room. They are meeting next week. The Pop Orchestra meets in room 750 after school on Thursday from 3 to 5. Mr. Nell hosts the Cyber Patriot Club on Thursday at 3 p.m. in his room. And the Robotics Club meets on Thursdays from 3 to 5 in room 160. Glads, we have some amazing teachers here at WHS, and here's a reverse power tickets video to prove it. Hi, my name is Brian Galdine, and my reverse power ticket goes to Miss Collins. She is always there when needed. <laughs> she is a wonderful teacher. She loves her job, she respects everyone, and she works hard on everything. My name is Kenneth, and this reverse power ticket goes to Miss Madaka. She put up with the class, our uh, fourth block class, and it was math class. And she put up with all the stuff we were doing, we were talking, and she still, she still held firm and was really nice. And so uh, I just want to give this power ticket to her because she was very nice. Hi, my name is Casey, and my power ticket goes to Mr. Store. Mr. Store puts up with all my spontaneous and random stories and usually doesn't think I'm crazy. I'm Jane McGrew, and the teacher I picked for a reverse power card is Miss Collins. She's always positive and she encourages me, encourages me to be better. Her attitude is amazing. She is very funny and she has a very nice smile and she works so hard. My name is Jacinda Brooks and my reverse power ticket goes to Major Davis because he always takes care of his students and he really cares and wants to help them improve. He also comes in with a friendly vibe and an awesome attitude and he's just a really great teacher overall and a great individual. Thank you. My name is Courtney Pollard. This first power ticket goes to Miss Sodini because she comes into class with a smile on her face and she's always outgoing. And if I ever need anything, she's always there. Remember, you just fill in the card and drop it in the bin at the attendance office and we do the rest. Glads, it's a little early and even scary to be talking about final exams, but they are just around the corner. If you would like some help studying for finals, raising your grade before the semester ends, or general tutoring, NHS has your back. NHS students have free tutoring sessions every Thursday during advisory. Sign up in the library on Thursday mornings. Remember, the library will only be available on Thursdays for computer use and tutoring. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.